What's up guys, Grim here, or Viral as you know me, name, the, may know me by, um, I'm doing a commentary today, um, my first ever commentary, so please excuse me if I stutter or stop or like, like I just did at the beginning of this commentary, and sorry if I sound like sick or stuffed up, I have really bad allergies, and so yeah, and the gameplay you're watching is a 61 and 25, um, Studio domination game curly I got just a little bit ago. It's not the best gameplay in the world, but you know I might as well use it since I don't really play domination that much, so it's a decent gameplay for me. So what I'm going to talk about today is my opinions on Phase Five and the situation that happened earlier last week, or I think it was last, yeah last week about Phase noodles and time to talk about bullying and trolling and stuff and. If I still have some time at the end of the commentary, which I probably will, because I don't really have much to talk about, and I might just get on a little rant or put some music, I don't know. So, anyway, my Phase 5, so, as you know, Phase 5 ended, I don't know, a few weeks ago, the last introducing was Phase Basil, and a lot of people were mad or upset that, you know, 5 out of 6 of the recruits, if you include Ninjask, um, were recruited from Sora, and... That's not entirely true, like, the only people that I would say really did come from Seoul are Tito and ba um, ba Basil. The reason being, um, let me just go through this, Rockstar, okay, so he's been playing for god knows how long, 2000, he started COD, he started in COD 4, so he's been doing this for long enough and he was in fear, so, he, yeah, not in Seoul. Who's the second one? Would it? No. Wait, Tito. Yeah, he joined Soar like the day the RC like came out. So I guess you could consider him recruiting him from Soar, but like he was in Obey basically the day the RC started. But whatever, that's all personal opinion. And the third one, Hateful. Um, he was in a ruse when the RC started, and he joined Era and then Soar. So. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Voice on the club. He was went from Ruse, Era, and Sore. That's so I wouldn't really consider him a Sore player until like the last two weeks. So I wouldn't really consider him being in Sore when they recruited him because he was in Ruse and then he joined Era and then went to Sore. The fourth player, Gwidit. Um, if you guys didn't know, he was in Sore when Banks was leading it. Um, he's quit a lot and came back. So. He wasn't technically in Soar, so I wouldn't consider him being a Soar recruit. Some people, I saw some comments on Bass was introducing saying, Yo, why did Gwidda get in? He was in Soar. Why don't you recruit like some underrated players? Let me just say something. All the underrated players, well, all, everyone who won Phase 5 was underrated, put it that way. Banks and Seabass had a lot of pressure on them to, you know, pick the proper players and pick out the best response because in my opinion everyone in the top 100 deserve to be in phase I mean they all could be in phase but it's just banks and what banks and Seabass chose um <coughs> let me anyway so who is the last one you know, Oh, shit. Oh, Baz. Okay, so this is the only guy, if you include Tito, I don't really include Tito, but if you include Tito as a sword player, Baz was in sword for two years, so that's technically the only person I would consider they recruited from sword, and Baz definitely deserved it, in my personal opinion. Anyway, so those are my opinions on Phase 5 and my perspective on it. See, Baz and Banks did all they could to pick the best people, and... You know, it's hard. I understand that, but picking, you know, really, really good players, the top, the top 100, everybody, top 100. Those top 100, dude, just, all those players, trying to pick from all those players, I don't even know. And the challenge was to refine, to find underrated players, and my friend, at least not really my friend, I just know him, TJ, hi TJ. He started this RC, he was in TGN, and you think he joined Thrust by the time after the Top 100 video came out, and now he's in high. So that's, yeah, he, that's, just brings so much more attention to people who, like, make the Top 100, or even just do the RC, do the RC, like, posting a response to it, or, and Tito, um, no, not Tito. Who the hell am I talking about? Links. Okay, obey Links. He 
Bravo. He had like, I don't know, 1k subs, five, 1 to 5k subs, I think, Good when job, he started the RC, and now he has like 10 or 11k, I'm not even sure. Just, that's, that's unreal, getting that amount of subscribers in such a short amount of time, mate, just because of, you know, the Phase 5 challenge. It's not all because of the Phase 5 challenge, but most of it was because everybody saw him in the Top 20 montage and his RC response. Yeah, and Arrow Dirty, a 2K clan, just he, an underrated 2K clan. That kid just, I'm not sure if he's a kid, but that's the way I talk. My bad. Um, he came out of fucking nowhere. I don't even care. He, he nobody expected that kid to just totally get into the top 20, especially from the 2K clan. <sighs> wow. And now I think Dirty is now in NB. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he is. Alright, so finally that's my final opinions on phase five. And now I'm gonna talk about the phase noodle situation, which if you guys don't know what it is, um it was a this these people invited a kid who who had his gamer tag, I don't know what it was, and they convinced him that they were like recruiters from phase and they told him that, Hey, you're in phase, we saw your stuff on your vault and I don't even know. I don't know what happened. They made him change his name, like waste money on changing his name, and they told him that they were just kidding and they were playing around with him. And then the kid kind of like got pissed off, and then they kept like making fun of him for being stupid and telling him that like he's actually in phase. They just kept kidding around with him and they kept trolling him. But then the kid kind of like lost it. Like he started to cry. I mean, he wasn't. He was like 10 years old. Let's put it that way. He started to cry and like tell, say a bunch of stuff that. You know, about like getting bullied and his parents being in jail, that kind of stuff. And if he was being honest about that kind of stuff, um, that was just really low for people to like keep making fun of that kid, even if he was like not being serious, even just just to make fun of him. But if he was being serious, like that's not even cool to like talk. That, that's that should draw the line. Like you shouldn't be bullying this kid because. They started off trolling, and then it became a bullying situation, and bullying, it, some people, like, think it's not a big deal, but it is. Like, people can commit suicide and fucking kill themselves, you know, hurt themselves, and, you know, it happens. And that kid, you know, very well could have, like, killed himself because of that. And they, I, I watched the video that they posted, like, when they trolled him, um, I think a few of the people started to realize that uh, this wasn't, this isn't, this is a big deal, this kid is not, like, take, this kid's taking this too, way too serious, we should just cut it out, and a few more people just kept on going, and they, I give props to the people who told him to stop, and just quit bullying, bullying him or trolling, and there's a difference between trolling and bullying, trolling is like playing a prank, having some fun, you know, just, you know, having like a good laugh, playing a joke on somebody, but bullying is literally, like, hurting somebody's feelings. I know that sounds like cliche or something, or like, kind of kitty, but bullying is not cool. It's like, yeah, it can really fuck with people. Like, it's not cool to do. Like, I I've been there. I've been bullied, and I've bullied people. I mean, I know what it's like. feels like to be bullied, and it's not cool to bully. I've learned that. Like, don't bully, you guys. It's not cool. And props to, like, Seabass and Banks for, like, recognizing the situation and taking action. Like, I don't know what encouraged them to do that, but that was really cool to like put him on the roster for a day just to like and to play with him because it probably made his his day. He probably fucking went ecstatic when he like heard he was gonna get on the roster for a day and he was getting all this attention. I mean, some people might be like, "Yeah, this kid's just getting too much exposure." Not, not exposure, like he's like kind of like a spoiled little prick, is what I I read that on Twitter. Like, yeah. This kid got bullied, you guys, like, he got, he was crying, he, he could have been serious about the stuff he was saying in that video, and some people may have different opinions on this, but that's just my opinion, just, what my final, kind of, thing I'm trying to say is, don't bully, you guys, it's not cool, don't do it. Alright, that's about it, oh, and one last thing I'd like to talk about, I'm doing the auto RC, and I am getting screwed over with clips, I've got so many, split. Well, I don't really feed that much, but, I got a few split feeds and lots of leftovers. I got, got like a six. I got six. Wait, I went from collateral to a two and then to another collateral. That would have been a six on screen, but I was playing ground war. You know how that is with. And I got EMP'd and then. It, yep, EMPs. They pissed me off. I hate them. And how many hit? I have 11 hit markers so far, so. 
I really hope Supreme and the leaders are looking for quality over quantity because I'm not sure if my response is going to be as long as the other people's responses, but yeah, I just really hope they look for quality over quantity because I'd really like to join auto, but you know, if I don't, I mean, it's not the end of the world, but you know, just gotta let it go. Alright, what do I got? I got a 50 some seconds. Oh, and by the way, in the gameplay, we do lose this game, but, you know, whatever. Alright, I guess we're done here, so I'm just going to let the gameplay wrap up, and I'll talk to you guys later. This is Grim, and I'm signing out. Peace. Mission failed. Bring it next time.